Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we will be talking about the Taylor GS Mini Guitar. Let's get to it. Alright, welcome back. So today we'll be looking at and talking about the Taylor GS Mini and this one is the mahogany version. I will talk about why this guitar is my favorite acoustic guitar and I'm going to talk some of the features um, and then I'm going to strum a few chords and do some leady bits. So hopefully that's going to help you uh, decide if you want to buy this guitar or not. Alright, so the Taylor GS Mini Guitar, I'm not going to go too much in details about its history and intro, but all I'm going to talk about is why I find this guitar to be just perfect for my needs. And to start off with that, the first thing is the size. Um, I'm sick and tired of playing big, large acoustic guitars. They're okay uh, during live settings and whatnot, but when I'm at home, I want to play something which is easy to hold on to, whether I'm sitting on the couch or in the bed or just hanging around. Um, but I want to play something uh, which has quality and not just crappy quality and GS Mini is just a big quality guitar um, the sound is just amazing it's it's almost magical you would be thinking like how can this beautiful sound can come out of this tiny little guitar well it's actually not that tiny but you know what I mean uh, but the sound actually comes out amazing and I've been playing guitar for close to 30 years now and I tell you what the GS Mini is the best acoustic guitar I've ever played and this is my favorite guitar acoustic guitar I don't want to get anything else you know this is the guitar I want to hold on to for a long long time period alright so apart from the size uh, the aesthetics this color the mahogany finish is just beautiful and initially when I was planning on purchasing uh, one of the GS versions. Uh, I was thinking, am I should I go for the spruce version to have that brighter sound? But I remember, like when I went to the shop and I tried out the Sitka spruce uh, version and then the mahogany version, and I think there was a gold version as well. Yes, that's what I also tried. I, rem I remember it now. Um, the mahogany just got to me because. As much as I love um, the trebly sound of an acoustic guitar, I was a bit worried that the mahogany one is just going to be um, bigger on the low end. And that did not turn out to be the case at all whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I found this guitar, the mahogany version, to be uh, the all-rounder version. It's just perfect. It's the the low end is just so tight and the high end is just shimmering through and everything just complements each other and you'll hear it when I'm going to play a few chords later on in this video so stick around um, what else um, the back is Sipili and I've actually played Sipili guitars in the past and they're fine they're good um, but this one it just complements everything perfectly what's even cool is that if you want to plug in um, an ES Go, the Taylor's uh, pickup system, um, you can actually just buy that and just clip it in. There's a little uh, clip in the middle right over here uh, where it snaps on, locks on, and the and the pick, pickup doesn't fall that way. And then all you got to do is like screw the back end out and put the new one in where you can actually insert your, um, your jack input. Alright, um, I think that's about it. The Ebony fretboard, oh my goodness, it's like playing on a surface made out of glass. It is just beautiful. Um, the ends of the frets uh, are just nicely polished and rounded. Uh, They're not sharp whatsoever, which is amazing. So it's like buying a $4,000 guitar uh, with all the good specs and the great sound. For a fraction of a cost and that's why GS Mini is my favorite guitar um, and the sound I've heard some reviews on YouTube where people say 
oh, the sound is actually uh, not big enough. And, and they do point out that, look, it's a smaller size guitar. But I tell you what, even for this small size guitar, I would never complain about the sound from this GS Mini because it has a big sound. And this would be a good segue. Let's start hearing some tunes and uh, see what the sound is like. All right, so I'm just gonna play some chords first. So the other thing I like to mention, which a lot of people don't really talk about, is that playing the chords higher up the fretboard. Now, when I play the chords higher up the fretboard on this GS Mini, I tell you what, it sounds great. One of the other models that I tried out in the store, I remember um, playing higher up the fretboard wasn't that great. So that's something you should look into. So anytime you plan on buying a guitar, Make sure you can go to the store and give it a go first. Um, here we go, I'm going to play some chords up here. Play something different. Alright, so if you're planning on playing lead guitar with GS Mini when there are other people in, in the group as well, then you would definitely want to grab the ESGO pickup system or any kind of other pickup system that you can find. Playing notes accompanied with another guitar, uh, it's going to get a little tricky for the notes to cut through, especially if the other guitar is quite loud. But overall, it's not too bad, but if you're planning on playing this in a band setting or in that kind of situation, then you definitely want to grab the ESGO um, pickup system. One of the things that I also want to point out is that it will take you at least a couple of hours to kind of like get used to the, the smaller fret situation which is going on here. Uh, but after that, it's just going to come to you naturally, so it's not going to be too much of an issue. And also, I was a bit worried about how it's going to affect when I'm trying to play lead. Uh, initially, it was a little bit of a hiccup, but then I got accustomed to it. So this is something uh, you just might want to take into account. At the end of the day, once you get used to it, which does not take you long, it'll probably just take you a day maximum 
or a couple of hours minimum you know and and, and that's it and then everything's going to be fine everything's just going to come to you naturally and there's going to be no more issues so i highly highly recommend if you're in the market uh looking at getting a smaller size guitar but with great quality the gs mini is to go and mahogany version obviously uh everyone's going to have a different taste uh in terms of the kind of sound they want to hear uh whether they want the spruce sound the core sound uh, but in my case i opted for the mahogany because this one turns out to be more of a um all-rounder sound for me so yeah i'm pretty happy with that all right guys well that's it thanks so much for watching this video if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time i post a new video catch you guys next time